friends welcome back to the channel it has been a minute since you've seen me and honestly it is because i've been in a bit of a like reading funk i just i don't know i just there's not there hasn't really been a book that has grasped my attention and has like made me want to read it so i've just been kind of sitting here not reading but I have so many books on my October TBR that I have not even started, so we have to get through that. So in order to fix the little problem I'm having, I have decided that I am going to challenge myself with a 24 hour reading challenge. Now am I going to sit down and read 24 hours straight? Probably not. I don't think I have the time for that this week. but. I will be reading for 24 hours over the period of this week. Hopefully not the whole week. Hope maybe I'll do it in like, like a couple of days. That would be ideal. But my goal is that having this challenge and setting a specific amount of time that I'm going to read will not only force me to get back into reading, but it'll help me get through some of my to be read. So without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I know like in my previous video, I had like a long list of books that I'm gonna be reading. I'm not reading any of those right now. So out of the need to fix this like craving for a good book i've done a little bit of like book shopping and so i decided to pick up then she was gone because everybody like says this book is so good and i'm kind of in the mood for something i want like a thriller i want something i don't know not romance not fantasy not sci-fi something just a little spooky so i'm really excited to get into this i've already started it a little bit i think i'm only on what i'm only like a couple pages into this so we're, let's see how much i can get done in one sitting It has been a while since you've last seen me. I have been reading, but I have not been filming. I think where we left off, I was reading Then She Was Gone uh, by Lisa Jewell. I have since finished it. Thoughts. So I will say that this book, book, this book was very enjoyable to read. Like I got through this pretty quick. I probably would have gotten through this faster had I had more time to read. It was a nice little thriller. It didn't surprise me. I guess there were supposed to be plot twists, but I kind of saw everything coming. Maybe within like the first 100 pages of the book, I kind of knew where things were headed, how the book was pretty much gonna end. That doesn't mean that it wasn't good. I still enjoyed it all the way through. I really like Lisa Jewell's writing. I definitely wanna read more books by her. And I would say the reason why I'm rating this a 3.75 and not a four star is because I, I don't know, like I feel like the book itself was good and I would, Definitely recommend that somebody else read it, but it didn't like, there wasn't anything about it that really made it like, oh my gosh, like where I didn't, I don't find myself like really thinking about it now that it's over. Again, not in a bad way. I enjoyed it as I was reading it, but that's kind of like where it ended. I will say another thing, like I didn't necessarily like resonate with characters much. I think like with the main character, obviously, but I didn't have like a deep connection with her, like how I would like to have. And then with the other characters in the book, like for example, the main character, Laurel's family, I don't really care for her family. I don't really like her family. <laughs> so I don't know, it was kind of hard for me to really root for anybody in this book other than Laurel, even though she is the person that we're supposed to be rooting for. But everybody else, I was just kind of like, I could have took them, took them or left them. But yeah, done. So since then I have moved on to Masters of Death. This is by Olive Blake. I like Ollie Blake's writing. Her writing is a very um, different. It's very um, complex, I would say. Like the way that she f phrases sentences and the way that she puts things together, it's not, she doesn't hand things to you. You have to work for it. But I'm reading her book, Masters of Death. It's basically about a vampire real estate agent who has a ghost in this property that she I think is selling her. Yeah, I think she's trying to sell the property. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so basically she's trying to sell there's a ghost in it and the ghost won't leave until he finds out who murdered him. So the main character or the vampire real estate agent Viola, she goes in search of Fox Demora, which is a medium, and she's basically using his help to figure out who murdered the ghost that's in her house so that she can sell it. I just figured like this was like the perfect time to read this considering it's October and I just know that like I'm probably not gonna want to read this any other time this year and I don't want to wait until next year to read this so we're gonna go ahead and knock it out right now plus it's kind of different than anything i read before so yeah i'm about let's see i'm on chapter three of this book and so far i really like the writing so far i'm invested i'm engaged so 
we'll see how I feel about it. Let's see if this is going to be another three star or if maybe we found ourselves a five star read. I have also been keeping track of how long I've been reading. So in total, I've read about six hours and 40 minutes. So let's just keep on going. Good morning, friends. Let's ignore the mess in the background. I'm in the middle of doing laundry. It's been some days since I've spoken to you guys, since I've read. The last time we talked, I was reading Masters of Death by Olive e. Blake. And oh my gosh, ignore my dog barking. I don't know, like for whatever reason, like I really feel like I'm in a reading slump. Like every book that I'm trying to get into, every book that I want to read or I'm trying to read is just... Crickets. Nothing is capturing my attention. Nothing seems interesting to me. So I decided to go and buy some more books. <laughs> just because I like I I want to read and I want to get out of this little reading slump I have so many books that I want to read so many videos that I want to film and like this is just really getting in the way of that so I decided to pick up Kingdom of the Wicked because Sarah Caroli raves about that book she talks about how much she loves the romance with the wrath and the main character so I am excited like I'm just feeling kind of fantasy I'm feeling like kind of darker vibes considering it is October even though it's the end of October like I've read none of the books that I was supposed to read so yeah I'm really excited about reading that series I really feel like that book in particular is gonna like snatch me right out of this little funk that I'm in. And then I also got The Deep by Nick Cutter. I've been wanting to read this for a while. I just want something really, I've been telling y'all for the longest, like I want a book that is scary. Like I want to actually be scared. I want to actually like feel kind of like creeped out. I want to experience like feelings of eeriness. The only book that has been able to do that for me was Pen Pal. Like that book was phenomenal and I've been waiting for another like horror thriller book that makes me feel the way that book did. So hopefully this will do that for me we shall see but I just wanted to update you guys I'm continuing the 24 hour reading challenge like it's taking me way longer than I thought it was going to way longer than it should because I just haven't been reading I just have not wanted to pick up any of the books that I have so we're gonna push forward hopefully this is what I needed to kind of get me back into the swing of things completely unrelated to today's video but I'm redoing my room and I'm obsessed I got these paintings here ah I got these paintings here here and I got those pillows from Target um and I just feel like just that little change has caused my room to like it's just changed the whole vibe in here I just feel like it looks way more put together it just Looks way nicer. I literally just got back home from work, but I also ordered like a little side table that I'm gonna put in this like in between space between the bookshelf and my bed. Cause I don't really have like a nightstand. I figured that table would act as like kind of like a nightstand and I could put like my Bible on there. So in the morning I could just have it right there cause it's, it's like double tiered. So there's like a top um, shelf and then there's like a bottom shelf as well so I can put like multiple books so like the current book that I'm reading or my remotes or my glasses like I don't know I'm gonna like make it like a cute little thing but I'm really excited I'm about to put that together right now and then after that I'm gonna give you guys some updates on Kingdom of the Wicked because oh my gosh I'm obsessed I'm obsessed all right BRB <laughs> hours and 31 minutes into my 24 hour reading goal this morning i finished kingdom of the wicked and all i gotta say is i love it i've already told you guys i've ordered the next 
chapter or not the ch next chapter but the next book in the series that's supposed to come tomorrow and I'm honestly heartbroken that I can't like immediately pick up the next book because I just I love this world so much so if you don't know anything about this series it's basically about the main character Amelia she has a twin sister who ends up getting murdered and she's basically on a hunt to find out who murdered her sister and so she ends up summoning a demon named Wrath and they go on this journey together basically trying to figure out who this murderer is and the build of romance between Amelia and Wrath is just I love it and it's definitely like an enemies to lovers type trope which is my literal favorite so I was just gobbling this right up but I will say there was something that happened at the end that I was not too happy about <laughs> so I hope we kind of see where that goes in the next book and hopefully things get kind of turned around a bit because I don't think I'm a big fan of how the book ended but overall the journey the main character I love her she is a strong woman like I hate when like the main character is kind of like a wimpy and just kind of like allows things to happen to her instead of taking charge of her own life and Amelia is definitely the kind of woman who takes charge of her own life and I'm here for it but yes Overall, I give this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I don't give it a 5 star because, you know, I don't know. Like, I don't like the way that the book ended. And I just feel like there's, I wish there's a little bit more romance. But who, I don't know, like that may progress more in the next book or as the series goes on. Yeah, but overall for first book, I'm a huge fan of the series. I don't want to leave the world <laughs> that this series is built around. I just, I'm obsessed. But... We still have more reading to do and since the next book in the series isn't here yet I figured I might as well move on to my next book and that is The Deep by Nick Cutter. Haven't started reading it yet. This is supposed to be a horror novel. I'll read you guys the synopsis. A strange play called The Gets is decimating humanity on a global scale. It causes people to forget small things at first, like where they left their keys, and then not so small things like how to drive their letters of the alphabet. Their bodies forget how to function involuntarily. There is no cure. But far below the surface of the Pacific Ocean, a universal healer hailed as Ambrosia has been discovered. In order to study this phenomenon, a special research lab has been built eight miles under the sea surface. When the station goes incommunicado, a brave view descend through the lightless fathoms in hopes of unraveling mysterious, the mysteries lurking at those crushing depths, and perhaps to encounter an evil blacker than anyone could possibly imagine. So yeah, I'm absolutely terrified of the ocean. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the beach, I love the ocean. If I'm going to be anywhere, it's going to be at the beach. But your girl keeps her butt on the sand. I am not a strong swimmer. And even if I was a strong swimmer, I just don't know how I feel about just like not being able to see what's underneath me. And it's one thing if I'm in a body of water, like a pool, and I know there's nothing underneath me, like I'm chilling there. But because like there's other creatures and critters, you know, just hanging out down there, like that's their home. Like, who am I to go in the ocean and tell them that they can't be there or be freaked out when I'm in their space, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. Just the, the idea of the sea and just the fact that it's so deep and we haven't... Like, we, we only know a fraction of what all is down there. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So, I feel... I have a feeling this is going to be absolutely terrifying to me because the thought of being... First of all, okay, the thought of being stranded alone in the ocean freaks me out because like sharks like I said I don't like not knowing what's underneath me like I need to be aware of my surroundings I need to know what the heck is going on around me and when you're in a body of water like that like you don't know what's going on underneath you like you just don't so that awful but then like being underneath the water like it's one thing not to see the creatures there it's a whole other thing to see the creatures that are there that is a whole separate fear encapsulated into this overall fear of being in the ocean doesn't matter doesn't matter doesn't matter this is the next book let's just go ahead and get into it So I have officially completed the 24 hour reading challenge, but I am still not finished with the deep. I am just about done with it. I maybe have like a few chapters left. So I'm going to finish this up and then we can chit chat and recap all of the books that I read. All right.
Hey y'all, so I know you may be a little bit confused because it's nighttime and the last time we spoke it was during the day. Um, so yeah, I just got home from work. I literally just finished the last chapter. I will definitely say this book, there were a few moments in it where I was like a little creeped out. So it definitely did provide, at least when it comes to like my wanting to be scared. Like there were like a couple like moments in here where I was like, oh, that's a little eerie and then just like the whole fact that they were just like trapped under sea like that's what was terrifying largely to me other than that the book kind of I thought the book was gonna go somewhere and it decided to go in a completely different direction and because of that i'm not really like happy with it like don't get me wrong it was a good book i literally went through it so fast like the writing is incredible i definitely want to read more of nick cutter's books i just don't know if this one was def like was for me um i like it's so hard to explain why i didn't like it without telling you guys what happened without telling you guys like exactly why i don't like it because it'll give away part of the the story I basically i had an idea of what i thought the book was going to be it turned out not to be that the book itself is good i enjoyed it i would definitely recommend it but it just wasn't anything that just like changed my life you know so because of that i decided to rate this a 3.75 out of five stars solely because i just did not find it to be as scary as i want it to be it just I feel like there's so much this is kind of like a trend like lately that I've noticed like uh, the books that I've been reading like there's so much that the author could do to make the book terrifying to make it different than something we've we've already like have read or experienced and I just feel like towards the end it just kind of fell apart like I just wish that there were more questions answered I wish that things weren't so vague um, and then maybe I could rate this higher but basically i finished this and kind of i'm just left wondering what the heck and what was the reason you know like things just weren't explained i really don't care for the ending but yeah that's neither here nor there so yeah when we go back and review all the books that i read the ones that i actually got through were then she was gone uh, Kingdom of the Wicked and then of course The Deep. Then She Was Gone was really good. I loved that book. Again, same kind of thing was predictable so that's why I didn't get as high of a rating as I would like to have given it even though it was enjoyable even though I did like the book. Same thing as this one. I liked it. And then Kingdom of the Wicked, y'all already know. Like that, that was the star of the show for this video. Like that was literally my favorite book of this video and so much so that I went and got the next one in the series and i'm literally about to start reading this right now so without further ado that is it thank you so much for watching this video hopefully you guys got a couple good book recommendations i hope that you guys read some of the books that i've read if you haven't already i hope that you enjoy them if you do choose to read them and uh, yeah that's it bye <laughs>